And we are back. As you can see, it is slowly becoming daytime outside. And I tell you what, I spent all night watching these monsters. I'm seriously being afraid for my life. <laughs> they are everywhere out there. Sorry. So here's a zombie. I see a skeleton right over there. Oh, he started on the fire. In the daylight, these animals, these creatures start on fire. Haha. <laughs> well, at least the zombies. Whoa, that is. That is a creeper right there. And because you can't see very well. Whoa! And that is what happens. They explode. I made him angry, I guess. Oh, man. Anyway, during the night, I went ahead and put down my crafting table and I crafted a stone sword to help better protect us. Holy smokes. Now, you may be wondering BYU Boston, do we really have to just hide in our little house every single. Ouch! Little punk, come here. We have to just hide out in our house every night, hoping for the best? Uh, no. We are going over here to get some coal, because I'm going to show you how to make light. Fire! We're going to make fire! So let's come over here and break down this coal nut. You break, so this is stone. This is cool. So you can see the difference in the uh, different elements in this game. Whoa, you want that to fall in the water? Don't fall in the water. Come here. Sweet. Um, now with coal, we're going to go back to our crafting table and we're going to use it to make torches. Now once you have torches and, in my opinion, torches, a, bre a bed, not bread, a bed, and... Uh, a sufficient area that you like, then you are good to go to set up a more permanent home. So we are almost there. We're going to spend the rest of this episode trying to find some sheep so that we can find a place to settle down. Which would be super duper de duper awesome! Because then we can really get started on a lot of other things available in Minecraft. So, this looks like it's a little bit of a hill, so let's go ahead and climb up here. What just happened? That's a weird glitch. See if we can get a better idea of the surrounding area. Well, of course, there's just a bunch of trees here, so I can't see anything. There you go. Trying to get a nice idea of the lay of the land. Ha! Made it. We're going to try and find us some sheep. That is our big task right now. If you see any that I don't see, just holler. <laughs> sure, I'll hear you. Once again, you'll find... Ooh, look at that. Lava pit. Holy smokes, that's a big one. Wow. Now, lava is good for a few things. You can use it uh, to burn things, to smelt things. Smelt, not smell, sorry. You can use it to smell things, BYU Boston. Genius. More oh, dogs. Chickens, yes. More food. You kill these chickens. We're getting chicken, raw chicken, and feathers. And feathers are really good for other creations. Um, particularly making arrows. And you eventually make a bow. But we'll get there eventually. These animals are everywhere. So you'll notice that I am gathering lots and lots of stuff. Well, that one had a lot of pork chops. This is a fat pig. I can't believe there's so many animals around here and there's no sheep. Sheep is the only one that I really want. You can see the squid under there. Those are uh, very passive creatures. They won't attack you even if you attack them. So if you decide to go for a swing, go get one of those. And as you start to collect items, you're going to want to make sure that you keep those items and that in case you die or in case... <gasps> you can hear the sheep. There you are. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. We have all of our items. I forgot what I was saying. I was so excited about finding the sheep. Sweet. 
And I am a big fan of cave dwellings. You may decide that you like a house better. But ow. I like caves. So we're going to come right over here. Seems like a good area. And let's see. I like to dig into the side of hills and things to build my houses. So, oh, there's some cows. Sweet. Man, this is a good area. I think I'd definitely build a house around here. Start my home around here. Actually, you know what? I can't seem to find something that I really like the look, the look of. So let's come over by these cows. And we're going to build a little hut just on top of this hill here. Right here is perfect. So let's chop down this tree. Chopping down the tree, chopping down the tree, chop, 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 chopping down the tree. You'll also see that uh, the stone axe does a lot better job than the uh, wood axe that we were using before. So we're going to get rid of these things here. These will slowly disappear. The cow will get out of my... Ha! Ha ha! Beef. So what's for dinner? So, with our wood, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of planks. And, um, by the way, so all, of all your items, those items that can stack sticks, and wool, and wood, most items can stack up to 24, in, or 64, sorry, in a stack, and then you have to start a new stack. Uh, a few items are unlike that, including eggs, which you see I picked up a random egg here. You can only hold 16 in a stack, and there may be others, but I'm forgetting them now, but I'm sure we'll think of them as we go along. So we are going to build another little hut. Yes! We make this one a little bit bigger, so that we can have some additional... Where should the door be? Of course it should be this way. Let's knock this out right here. This is going to be where our doorway goes. And then we'll just put one right there. Sweet. So we are building a hut here. I guess it's a hut. House, a hut. I'm going to call it a hut. Because that's what it looks like to me. That's what I, how I've always figured it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave a little uh, two high, one wide area there. And I'll show you why in just a sec. Because we are going to make a door for our first real legit house. Our last one, that little hut that we had, wasn't like a real dwelling. It was a temporary abode for that one evening. So, oh crap. Am I out of wood? Ah, okay. Well, we will work on our roof in a minute. Actually, let's ha, jump over here. Use the axe to cut through and the leaves. Find the wood. And we'll just dig straight down from here. Grab all that wood. And then go. And if you hold down shift and you click left click once, all the items will become whatever that is here. If you don't want everything in your crafting to become this, don't do what I just did and hit shift. Because you'll be sorely disappointed. So Let's build a little mini staircase type thing here. Yeah, did that cow just seriously come to my house? Did I invite you, cow? Did not invite you. Don't go into somebody's house without being invited. Now he's going to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess he's just jealous that I was able to walk along the top of my house, and he wasn't. So he made himself able so, okay, now, since I don't want to fall off down there, if you hold down shift when you move to the edge of a block, you'll walk to the edge without falling off. That only works on some blocks, so we'll... Some blocks, not some block. Some blocks, and we'll talk later about which ones it doesn't work on. Good grief. You'll notice that uh, I'm knocking off some of these little saplings. 
I take these little saplings and I right click onto the ground, it's going to plant it. Pretty nifty, huh? So let's just chop down this, finish up our first little home. And then, since it looks like, where's the sun at? The sun is almost down, so let's finish up our house and uh, then we will we're going to light our house not on fire, like we're going to create light for inside the house and create a bed. Let's go pick up those pieces. So what we'll do, is you're going to put down your crafting table you put down sticks with coal on top of the sticks just like this and you can make torches. So you grab those torches and then you put those Woo! Then there was light! Put them around the house like that. Can you see how much light there is? Now we don't want any, any monsters coming to my house. Are you serious, Cal? Get out of here! What are you doing? Oh, is that an apple? Apple, apple! There you go, grab that force too dark. Oh, it's too late! Seriously, what is this cow doing? He is a nosy cow. I'm going to call you Miss Nosy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our bed. The way you do that is you put three pieces of wood down. And they have to be planks. And then you put down three pieces of wool. And you get bed. Hooray! So we'll go put our bed down. We can sleep in that during the night. Now we don't want any monsters getting in like a... Miss Nose over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take wood planks and we're going to put three up, three more down, I guess, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, whatever you want to call it. We're going to make a wooden door. We're then going to go, I like to go from the outside in because whichever way you place it goes to the outside of the block. We're going to stick it right there. You right click or you can left click, whichever. Open the door, close the door. We're now safely tucked away in our little abode. And then when it is time, you just right click in your bed and you go to sleep. And we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. And I will see you guys in episode 3 of our how-to videos. Or my how-to videos. I guess they're hours now if you're watching and participating. And uh, in our next episode, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the things that you can do for your home in here to make it nice and cozy and to help uh, make things easier on you in your first your first hut in Minecraft and I will see you guys the next episode. Let's go ahead and right click and fall asleep and I'll see you guys the next episode.